Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. Today I thought I would finally get to my acting gear and start getting organised for baby girl. You can probably see all of this behind me here. So this is everything that I want to get prepared and set up and I also have um, a couple of her baskets. I've got one there. Um, a load is just about to finish in the machine there and then I've got another basket there to go on. So I want to start getting all of her like first bits and pieces all washed, ready to go. I need to pop, pack my hospital bag um, as well. I'm currently 34 weeks when I'm filming this so I really need to have this done. So yeah, I thought this would be a really fun video just so I can organise, get things ready, prepare for baby girl with me. I will do a separate video on what's in my hospital bags so and what I'm packing in there when I go. Um, so that won't be in this video, but I'm going to switch this wash load over. I'm actually in the middle of drinking my breakfast shake just there. And then um, I will start getting everything prepared and I will bring you along and we'll get everything organised. What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. the setup that I've got at the moment I may move this um, Amazon screen back into the kitchen because that's where we had it originally um, and then I have got a spare one of these so I just get these off of eBay um, and I pick them up for like I don't even think they were eight pound for two so I have got another spare one because I've got a couple in my bedroom for her toiletries but what I've done in this one is I've put all the smaller bottles so I've got a couple of the mam bottles and then these are the Tommy Tippy ones now the reason I've got these is because they came with this full kit that I've bought 
so I've had this for a couple of months and I got it on offer so I'll link it below um because it was quite good value for money if you bought it all together um obviously I don't know how much use we're going to get out of it because I am planning to breastfeed so I've not yet got the breast pump out I'm leaving that there for now just because I really want to read all the instructions and obviously everything will need to be sterilized um this milk will go in my hospital bag in case we need it and in this bottle here we've uh, in this spinning tray sorry here we've just got the larger bottles so these are the Tommy Tippy ones that come with the set and then like I showed you at the start I also bought this other um, set with the mam and you got the dummy so just in this tray here none of this again has been sterilized but we've just got a selection of dummies for her she's got a few different colors in the bibs and these are all the first size so from newborn and then she's got a good selection of the mam ones um some of these i got free actually with the dummy uh, with the bottle sets so they're quite good value for money i think all of these actually here were free all of these mam ones they came with the um bottles and then that is a tommy tippy one that came with this whole set and then she has got another couple of packs of the MAM here. Again, these are all from newborn. So she's got those and those. Obviously, I've probably got a couple, well, a good few weeks. Hopefully until she is here. So I'm not going to sterilise them just yet because they'll need doing again anyway. So yeah, that's how that is looking. Um, I'm really happy with the steriliser actually. It's... Um, such a better design than my other tommy tippy one um so if i just take the lid off and show you so it's got a well i've just knocked the tray off so it's got a double rack so that's where your bottom of your bottle sit and then this is where the lids and the teeth sit and it comes with a set of tongs so you can pick out if you're taking it out as soon as it's finished and then obviously the lid just sits on it like that and then this is the perfect prep machine so yeah this perfect prep machine is the day to night one so it's a digital one again i haven't set it up yet because you need to actually do a full setup on it and run water through it so i'll do that a bit closer to the time but i think i'm going to leave them here i might just move this over a smidge like that and then what i'm also thinking is i'm gonna get um because so i've got let me shut this up a minute this rail here um i'm gonna get in ikea they do another little holder like this so i'm thinking of getting that and then i can put the kitchen paper there and obviously i just put my crease release here with all my other washing supplies um and then that just frees up that little area there so i also got the bottle brush with the set which is here so that will probably just live there but then obviously i can just have like a drying pad there for bottles that we've washed before they go in here um, and then up on this bit all I've got here is you got a spare filter for the prep machine which is there um, a bottle warmer an electric bottle warmer there and then these are really handy for out and about for bottle feeds so they're like an insulated carrier um, we used to take these up on an evening actually when we were feeding Ollie so yeah I've got a couple of those you get some powder pots for powder obviously if you're out and about and then this here is just oh i'm gonna tip these up now um this here is just a spare pack of two so i probably won't need these for a while but they're the anti-colic tommy tippy ones i had these from my baby shower my sister got me those so i've just left those in the box there because we're looking a bit full here and i just want to see what bottles she prefers because i've never personally used the man ones but they've come very highly recommended to me for bottle feeds so yeah that's how we're looking with that um and what i'm gonna do now is i'm just gonna wait for the tumble dryer to finish and then we can switch these loads over mm -hmm. i will get close to your heartache if you want to open your door mm -hmm. i'm feeling kind of lost when you Whatever that is choking your chest I can see it in your eyes that you're shaking Cause you're holding it back mm -hmm. Maybe you'll make up your mind Now I'm here by your side So let it Oh 
guys so i thought i would come back on after you saw the clip of me ironing all of baby girls bits last night so i've actually put them away um i didn't film that part because i want to actually do um like a run through of everything that we've got set up um it's not all finalized at the moment because we're currently mid finishing off decorating our bedroom you can probably see the wall behind me is a lot different to um the last time you saw the bedroom so we've now got it panelled our carpet is due in I think this week so we'll have that fitted but I've got down out of the loft to the sleepy head um that basket down there is full of blankets and this is where the snus pod's going to go next to my side just excuse that mess in front of it just there on the floor I need to pull that away but what I thought I would show you is just um how I've organized the drawer so I'm going to flip the camera around and I'll just talk you through like roughly what I think the setup is going to be okay so it's not by any means finished because i've still got obviously like the wrapping and stuff on here that bag um needs to go away it's just some bits and pieces left over for my baby shower but i'm actually having a clear because obviously the room needs to be completely cleared so we can get the carpet up for the new one to be laid but i'm thinking the changing mat will sit let me come back a bit on this set of drawers obviously i'm gonna completely clear a lot of this down this is just while i'm cleaning this caddy here, um, it's not been completely set up, but I've just put some bits in it. Um, some nappies, some wipes, some baby sacks, a blanket, some cotton wool balls, I think there's some nappy cream in there. So this one's gonna sit downstairs. Um, and then I picked this, they're both off of Amazon actually. Um, so I will link them below, but this I got for downstairs because our front room um, has a lot of great accessories. And then this one again is off Amazon. This one was a little bit more expensive, but I feel like it just looks a little bit more luxurious. Now it is blue and white striped inside. Um, they didn't have any other options for the inside, but I mean, I don't hate it because if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I'm a sucker for stripes. So I've not finished this one yet. All I've done is just put some nappies in there, but some of these will need to go in the hospital bag, which I need to do as well. Um, and then there's just a nappy cream in there so I need to put like wipes and bits like that in there and I'm thinking that will either sit like next to the changing pad here or it will sit under the snooze pod when that comes down um, this is move that out of the way stay there please handle so this is the changing pad that's going to go in my changing bag so i need to just take the tag off and that can go in there and this is just a the rainbow that i have for my baby shower i'm thinking maybe i can just get like a command hook and pop it on the wall there um obviously it'll go in our nursery when that's done so all of the clothes how organized is this let's see um so i need to actually go back to ikea and get some more of these storage containers they're like five pound but they only had one set when i went so this first drawer so what um myself and tom have done is we've completely cleared out drawer space so he's still got two at the bottom and i've still got the three on this side so in this drawer this is all like the first size newborn so we've got sleep suits just at the back there i've washed some of these like little comforters for her um obviously they'll go probably in her snooze cot and the car seat when when we get all that ready but i've just put them at the back there um this is newborn vests so there are two layers i've just rolled them up and stacked them on top of each other and then in this one here i've got a pack of scratch mitts i think i got some more actually yesterday when i went to primark but a lot of these sleep suits have got them built in on the arms um so i haven't got too many of these i've just got a couple of pairs and then i've got her a set of socks from h&m and then she's just got a couple of the frilly ones there um again these are literally just newborn so they're just for the first few weeks then i did pick up this pack of tights from h&m these are in a size naught to two months so i might get another set of these because they were only 5.99 and i just love the colors so i'm keeping those in this little sock compartment and then we have the hats i haven't washed these um purely because i don't want them to grow shape before she even puts them on so basically i've got that one from h&m this pack of two from h&m three pack from next and then that goes with that baby grow um that's just a bonnet from a set my mum has got her 
that needs to go downstairs with the dummies then i've got some bibs just back there so soft back bibs these ones aren't the ones with the rubber back so just a couple of those i think this is a set i'm going to take to the hospital because it all matches with the hat and the baby grow um i've got lots and lots of muslins uh rolled up there and these are just like washcloths or burp cloths for her so obviously some of those will need to go in my hospital bag and then in this drawer i haven't washed any of this yet if you hear ollie coming up um <laughs> he's gonna come and find me oh no he's gone in this bedroom so that drawer is newborn and this is first size so this is all up to 10 pounds so as i said i haven't washed any of these yet so these are just her baby grows obviously like you can see it's still got all the tags on. i need to go through and take all this off so that's the sleep suits the vests then in here i've got um just the next size up in socks and a selection of the frilly ones and then i've got some larger hats here for her i've got the selection of headbands I don't know if I'm going to stay in here or whether I move them. And then these are the 0-3 socks. And then I've just got some more bibs here. And these are the ones with like the wipeable back. Um, what size is it? I think they're 0-3. And then in this one, I've just put down, these are just some of the bigger baby girls, like 0-3, 3-6. to I think that's 6-9 to and just 0-3 there. But there is a box in the loft. So obviously when she's out of newborn, I'm probably going to need to get some more sleep suits and then i just got these pram toys in audi so they're just in there at the moment and these are just actually here some of her vests from h&m these are all newborn but i need to buy some more hangers um because tom still needs to do the inside of the wardrobe so this is currently where her bits are the hanging bits are but um we're just changing the layout of this so i've not really played around with any of that yet and then this has all been painted now so I can show you this just excuse my awful door we're changing the doors but um yeah I've got had a big clear out of all my shelves so I've moved Paddington up onto this one makeup there I'm gonna go through this and do like a big giveaway of stuff I don't use we've just got all of our hair products because the kids come in my room to have their hair done so I've just got like all the sprays that we use some brushes and just some spare products there and then this is like the baby setup that i've got so i've got some more of these i've shown these i think they were in this video actually when i was sorting out her bottles so i just get these off of ebay in a two pack they're really really inexpensive i'll link them below for you but i've just got some of her um her products that obviously darcy and ollie won't use so i'm not sure if they will live in the bathroom eventually but we're probably going to need to look at doing the bathroom so that's why i've just kept them there and there's also um like a little bath thermometer there for her because she won't go in the big bath for a while she'll go in her little baby bath i've got some hair products there her little nail file set there and i've just got a basket here with just some spare nappies and wipes there and then on this shelf again this is all going to be changed because we're going to have so much more shelving in here when tom sorts everything out but i've got her swaddle cloths all in there spare wipes and then this is bits from my hospital bag which i do need to crack on and start putting together but i just wanted to make sure all of her bits were washed before i did that so now i know all of her bits are washed um like her newborn bits i obviously still need to do the first size but there's not any rush for that because it'll be a few weeks before she's in that um once she's born i did pop to primark yesterday i don't know if i've really got enough for a haul i will go through it and see um but if not i'll include bits in my hospital like what's in my hospital bags a lot of it like the um wash bag things like that are all from primark and my sleep nighties if you that's what i call them sleep suits whatever that's all from primark so i will go through that but i'm planning on getting that done um because obviously i'm like 35 weeks now so i'm cutting it very very fine <laughs> obviously we hope baby girl hangs in there for a good few more weeks yet because we're not fully ready but i've got um her bag down that i'm taking to the hospital and then i've got some bits i just need to order some more products for myself and then i'll film that and get that uploaded but i really hope you enjoyed this organized preparing for baby girl with me don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment down below if you're not already i hope you'll consider subscribing and i will see you in my next video bye everyone you won't get
Say that.